Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Simply Crochet with Londa today. Today I have this adorable rose pattern to show you and this is great for beginners. It is a double crochet, treble, and double treble and I will show those stitches uh, slowly for you beginners out there and this is great to use for uh, attaching to any uh, clothing or accessory uh, that you might have there and it's flat on the other side so you can add a pin to it so for you that are new here to my channel I appreciate you being here and please subscribe to Simply Crochet with Londa and for my subscribers thank you all again for your support so let's get started to begin this stitch you will do a simple slip knot And for this larger rose, you will chain 99 chains. So that's a lot of chains. So you probably want to pause the video and I'll be right back. For this rose, uh, this is all done in one row along the chain. So it's fairly simple. So we will be doing um, segments of the same pattern, either three times or four times. So it's really, really easy and quick. So for this first uh, segment, uh, which should be one, two, three, and four, for this one, we will do one double crochet after skipping three chains. One, two, three, and in the fourth one, you will do a double crochet and then another double crochet. So you have two double crochets. Oops, let me grab that. Then you will chain two and then you will do a slip stitch in the next chain. Okay, now we will chain two, oh I'm sorry, three, chain three, and then you will do a double crochet in the next two chains, one and two. And then you will chain two and do a slip stitch in the next chain. And this we, we will repeat again. So we will chain three, and then a double crochet in the next two chains. And then chain two and a slip stitch in the next chain. So again, this is going to be petals one through four. So we have one, two, three, and now we're going to go for our fourth petal by chaining three and then two double crochets in the next two chains. Now we will continue with petals five through eight. And oh, forgot the slip stitch. So in the next chain, you want to do that slip stitch. So let me finish that. Okay, so for petals five through eight, you will do five, uh, four chains. So now we're gonna go over by doing trebles now. So we moved from double crochet and now we're, we will be doing the trebles. So you will do yarn over twice, and in the next four chains, we will be doing a treble. So yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So that's our first we'll be doing four trebles here in each of the next three chains. So four trebles all together. After the treble, uh, for petals five through eight, you will do 
three chains and then the slip stitch in the next chain after your four trebles. So let me repeat that. So for petals five through eight, you will begin by doing four chains and then four trebles and then chain three and then a slip stitch. So do five, six, seven, and eight. So you want four of these of that pattern. We will begin um, petals nine through 12 by after the slip stitch, we'll do four chains. And now we will do treb trebles in six of each of the chains. So six trebles. So again, yarn over twice, insert your hook, draw the loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, and yarn over, go. So that's a treble. So you want to do six of these trebles. Petals 9 through 12, you begin with four chains, you do six trebles, and then you end with three chains, and then a slip stitch. So this was petal 9, and you will do through petals 12. In the last segment for petals 13 through 16, we will start with five chains, and now we will do a double treble uh, in the next eight chains. So that is yarning over one, two, and three. And we will go into the next chain. Get there. And we will yarn over, go through two, go through two, go through two, and two. So there is the double treble. Okay, and you will do eight of these for this next segment. And then you will do it for petals 13 through 16. And after the eight double trebles, you will chain four and do a slip stitch. Completed all the segments of the petals, uh, ending with 16. So when you go all the way down, you should have 16 different petals all the way around. Let me show you. So they go from the small petals all the way around. And then you reach your last chain and just do your slip stitch and then fasten off. You tie it with your the last where you fastened off. And I just put a nice tight knot right there and then you can cut this off. Okay, now we will put this rose together. And there are two different ways you can do it. I prefer using needle and thread. So um, that's my preference for these rows. I want them to be really, really secure. And you can do that with the thread or with the yarn using your darning needle. So it just depends. I feel like when I do it with the yarn, it just makes it a little too bulky on the back. And I want the back to be flat. I don't want it bulky with yarn. So that's my preference. But you do what's comfortable um, with, you know, if you've done flowers. Okay, so now we're going to curl this up and we're going to begin with the small petal and you're just going to kind of roll it. So you're going to take that petal and you're going to roll it. I do it a couple petals here and then I kind of, that's where I kind of attach my thread. Now I've used the double thread here and I'll show you why. I go in here through both of the, and then since it's doubled up, when I get to the end of it, I put my needle, my needle between the two threads, and that way that knot is secure. 
And of course you want to use contrast, the, I'm not contrasting, but similar threads so it doesn't show too much. I'm kind of using a little bit darker here. Uh, maybe you can see it. Let me go a little closer. So you just want to attach that middle of that petal secure as possible. And then what you're going to do is you're going to slowly roll this petal and then you're going to just start attaching each of the petals. And you're attaching it from the middle part into the next part. And then you just continue roll, rolling it. And you want the middle of that petal to stay flat. You don't want it to bunch up. You kind of want it to, it to stay flat. So while you're sewing this, you're just kind of ma making sure it's flat. So you want your petals to face outward, not inward. So the wrong side is inside. These, These flowers can be used for all kinds of fun accessories, attaching it to clothing or bags or hats. Um, blankets even, any kind of decor that you would like. Here's one that I completed, as you can see. It's just adorable. It works up very quickly. Um, the video, I, I know I'm showing it to you, it might seem like it's long, but it's really fast. You do your double crochets, your trebles, and your double trebles. And as you can see, the way I did the petals, I kind of did two here, two here, and the, when I rolled it up, I made sure that another petal was you know, kind of um, opposite of it. So you want it to look like this rose. It's just so pretty. And there is the finished back, as you can see, when you do it very, um, you know, when you're doing each row one at a time and doing it carefully, it comes out really nice and even here. So you want that flat. And you can add a, um, a pin uh, or a clasp to the back of your flower. That way you can move the flower around. It doesn't have to be permanent on any project and you can take it or move it around however you want if you put a pin on it. But isn't that beautiful? I think it's just so cute and I would I do have a playlist for other flowers and I would like to do some more. There's so many beautiful ones out there um, to crochet and they're quick and easy projects. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the rose. It's, I think it's called the Centifolia rose. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, however, it's just a really cute little project to do. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.